I'm Sandeep and I like to make things simpler. And what I use for that is what we call an Arduino. And in this tutorial, we'll be using an Arduino board to create a keyboard out of a few buttons and what we call a piezo buster. So here, this is how we have hardware the musical Beano and for the working, we have to plug the power into our Arduino. And you can see when we press the first button, the sound is produced, a different sound, and a different sound. So you can take the keyboard in your hand. So that is a small music that we made, <laughs> no that's not what we made, this is a small demo on how the musical Arduino works. To begin with, I have here with me an Arduino Uno, which is a commonly used version of Arduino and I've wired it up to a few buttons here and a PSO buzzer here. The reason why I've used a PSO buzzer is that a PSO buzzer can produce sounds of various frequencies and that's exactly what we need to make our keyboard. And how it works is the PSO buzzer has a crystal inside it, PSO crystal inside it, and when we feed to it a pulse, it produces a click. And when we when we feed to it a series of pulses, it produces a series of clicks to produce a sound of a particular frequency, say F. And when we increase or decrease the time delay between these pulses, it produces sounds of different frequencies. For the keyboard buttons, I've used three reset buttons here. I've shorted one end of all these buttons and I've connected to 5V. This is directly available from the Arduino. The 5V pin is directly available in Arduino and I've connected the shorted ends of the button to the 5V pin. And the other ends I've connected to and the other three ends I've connected to the analog pins A0, A1 and A2 you can see here. The first button, one end of the first button is connected to A0. The Second button is connected to A1, the third button is connected to A2 and this is how, this is the circuit schematic of how you connect the buttons. And for the PSO buzzer, it has two points, a positive and a negative and I have connected the negative of it to the ground of the Arduino so that it always remains grounded and the positive I connected to one of the PWM pins. Here I have used a 6 pin which is a PWM pin. And the reason why I've used a PWM pin is I can produce uh, pulses of different time periods, and that is exactly why I've used this. Why I have used this PWM pin? It can produce pulses of different time period, and that is exactly what we need to produce sounds of different frequency in an in a piezo buzzer. So that was how to make a keyboard out of an Arduino, a piezo buzzer, and a few buttons soon. Until next time when we come with something more interesting, this is Sandeep.